Unmarried and facing destitution, the granddaughter of Texas first vice president struggled. Mother, it's not fair. John is your friend. He is going to be dazzled by the idea that grandfather was the first vice president of Texas. He is a widower and he has money. An emphatic no would be okay. I'm giving him an emphatic no. She now holds on to only one dream. Yes, it was an Jacinto that achieved the independence of Texas. But sisters, it is the album here in San Antonio that we must truly sanctify. We will teach future generations to glorify this defeat. We will glorify in self-sacrifice. Will the number of obstacles? I'm hearing some very strange things. Ms. Zavala wants to purchase uh, the long barracks not to demolish it, but to celebrate it for its defeat. I'm here to set a court order, mandatory injunction for one of the DNA's involved. We're still safe in the Mark Fashion, and I want to chat with the mayor. Here they are, give it to the Marines, and we're going to find justice. Hold your horses. Keep her and her loved ones. I, for one, vow to help Adina secure the long barrack and the former convent, the place where the Alamo's brave defenders actually died. Adina, we're sending you something to drink. From making one of Texas neglected sites Oh God, I have nothing to drink and I'm starting to shake for my unworthy dependence on coffee. Oh God in Christ help me. Shine like a star. Starlight. Adina De Zavala and the making of a patriotic supersite coming this February 21st to the Whatley Performing Arts Center.